On 8th September 2023, the creators of Procreate announced that they will be launching a whole new app in November 2023 this year. I will be sharing the summary of the launch event, so stay tuned. What is Procreate Dream? So basically, it's an animation app. As you're aware, that Procreate also has a animation assist feature where you could uh, just add little animations in your art. But since Procreate is more of a drawing app, they they have actually created a standalone animation app for the same, and they have shared a lot of cool features, which I am going to talk about in today's video. So first thing. They will be having three major ways of editing and animating your artworks. Number one is using the traditional drawing each frame method, like you used to do in Procreate app as well, with some more professional animation features included. Apart from that, you will also have the ability to use key framing, which means that instead of drawing individual frames, you could tell the software that you want first key frame to be here and the other one to be there, and it will basically draw the frames uh, to move it from point one to point two. And the third one, which is new and fairly new to animation and a Procreate Dream specific feature, which is performance, where the I, once you press the button, it will start, you know, sensing the motion, and whatever motion it is sensing, however you're moving the elements, it will basically animate that way. Which means that people who are not professional animators or are fairly new or beginner in animations can also use this feature to animate the illustrations, which is pretty cool. Because I am one of those. Apart from that. Audios and videos can also be integrated in the animation, and you could also edit your videos and draw on that. Which takes me to the next point, which is Procreate's drawing abilities and power pack brushes are integrated in this animation software. So you could draw, animate, and also draw on videos, etc., using Procreate Dreams. Apart from that, they also announced that exit history, which means that once you are done, if you're aware, once you're done in Procreate with the artwork and you uh, close the canvas, you cannot actually undo anything once you open it, and it saves it to that point. But with exit history that's coming to Procreate Dreams, there is no such thing as not being able to undo because of shutting the canvas. And this feature they are also planning to get back in Procreate, which is very exciting. Exciting. Apart from that, the the maximum canvas size which they announced is going to be one million by one million pixels, which is insane. And because of this new powerful engine which they are working on, you will be able to create such high dimensional project. And apart from that, they have introduced a new. A uh, file format or extension dot dreams, where all of this, the audios, videos, animation, drawings, etc., will be saved. So basically, like dot procreate, the file format for procreate um, artworks, etc. This is the file format for your animations in Procreate Dreams. Now, coming to the pricing and the launch date, they are planning to launch this software. You can get your hands-on experience on twenty second November twenty twenty three this year itself. And they are launching it at a surprising price point of nineteen ninety nine one off purchase, which is insane. Honestly speaking, I'm not someone who likes to animate. I find it very difficult, and still, I'm super excited for this app because of how user friendly and power packed and beginner friendly this app is. So I'm excited to be able to animate my illustrations without being able to actually go through that tedious process and learn animations. So I'm pretty excited, ironically pretty excited for this animation app. And I hope this video was insightful. If it was, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and till then you can watch this video um, and create something in Procreate. I will see you in the next video.